channel. Today I'm going to do an overview of stuff you can do during quarantine and stuff that I have installed on the car or what's currently with the car. You guys will actually get to see a quick overview of the entire car and what the bare basics are. I haven't got any driving videos yet because we're in quarantine. I bought the car at a wrong time which absolutely sucks because I haven't been able to take it for a drive after fixing up. Because when I first got it, steering rack's blown, which I still haven't put it in, as you can see. As these are known to have a fair bit of get play in steering. Other than that, it's been all right. Um, I've fixed the CV joint, that was completely obliterated. I've done the valve covers. I advise if you ever do the valve covers, get the genuine parts as they seem to be better than any of the aftermarket stuff on the on the anywhere. Um, put a new boost gauge, had it tuned as it was running stupidly lean and knocking like crazy. I'm surprised I didn't blow the motor, but it's currently running decent power now. I'll show you a picture of the dyno sheet. Um, yeah. So we're gonna go over the Turbo Smart boost gauge that I installed a couple weeks ago. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's been currently very, very effective. Like, yes, that's original kilometers, 97,000 for a 2001 model. Uh, I'll pop on it. The best way to put it, it's been, I highly recommend it. It was not badly priced. It's effective. It's accurate. It's great at night because it's clear, it's just got a clear white LED. Another company I'll give a shout out to is Ultrix Performance. They're based in Australia. Hang on a sec. Uh, based in Australia. Yeah, they're based in Australia. Great parts. I got the strut brace from them. And the radiator air diverter. So, yeah, just on a brief rundown on how the boost gauge install went, excuse me, I didn't post much because I'm still learning all this YouTube stuff and video editing and that, and I was just in a hurry to get content out as I shouldn't be, I should be worrying about quality, not quantity, but I'm giving a shout out, I'm trying to get the stuff out for you guys. Okay, best way to put it. That's the boost T that I wire, hardwired into the manifold. The cable ties are there, they're not really on. Oh, yeah, with this one it's kind of neat. Oh, no, that was actually quite a mission to get on because I was tight as hell. That there, I actually had to heat up and melt kind of on there to get it right. Got it running down there, cable tied to the breather hoses, up over the, up over the brake master, or the clutch master, sorry into the firewall. I should really put something around that. Or pin it up under the inner core. I don't know, I'll work something out. But um, other than that, the car's got a 05 STI turbo. I think it's a VF 43 or 40, 34 or something. I don't know. It's bigger. <laughs> um, pro speed intake pipe. Did not, it came with the car, so don't know how long. Uh, just a cheap intake elbow that's getting replaced with a cob intake once I get the rest of the gear. Um, silicon piping down there, which is covered in crap, which I've got to clean. Um, another big plus is the GFB response blow off valve. This here, as you can, I don't know if you guys can see, see that's full open atmosphere. You turn it, go straight to plumb back. I have an open atmosphere because I like loud noises and in Australia they're illegal so we just deal with it. Um, yeah, valve covers, the best way to describe it, if you want to ever do this side valve cover you've got to remove that, which is those two bolts, that, undo those two plugs, undo the harness plugs and undo the bolt holding the harness plugs off and that gives you plenty of room to do what you got to do. This side, easy as hell, take that off, and Bob's your uncle, you're in there. Uh, future mods, 
Aeroflow turbo blanket as that's pretty shot um, we'll be going turbo blanket as it's already got a four inch dump a three inch dump uh, not a hundred percent but it's big <laughs> uh, it's got Petters coilovers which are fully adjustable problem I think they're based off the BC BC racing golds they're the same type setup um, they make the car handle like a dream. Another quick tip is from my tuner. If you've got an STI intercool and you've got the WRX shroud, take it off. He said, this will give you plenty, enough airflow until you get the STI shroud, which is good. So, because before it was literally, you can see the dirt mark runs up there and across and there. That was it. That was the only area that was actually covering and yeah, it was getting jackal airflow. Then the dyno sheet, if you guys can see it, made 400 and 548 newton meters and 169.8 kilowatts. So that was on a 38 degree day, which is a hot ass day in Australia. So that's about summer on average. Um, yeah, intake temps got to near the 50 mark and I still push that number. On the cold mornings we've had lately here in Australia, it's been cranking. Like it's been, instead of 20 PSI, which it's been tuned to, it's cranking upwards of 22. And it's just loving life. Uh, I've had no issues with head gaskets, rod knock, anything like that. Uh, literally there's like bone dry of oil in there. Another future mod is get catch cans. Catch cans are a must with these cars and highly recommend getting them. Uh, things you can do during isolation. I hope you guys are following isolation rules and that. I know some people aren't but some people are. Is if you've got spare time, typical Subaru owners will know all about these. It's a good old shifter bush. If you don't have one, you got a floppy knob. But yeah, they're pretty easy. I think the only ones flogged down on mine are these, where the bolt is. I can't change it because it's stupidly tight, but I'll get there eventually. But other than that, I've got, yeah, the cob intake sitting there still, collecting dust. I'm going to get the Process West top mount inner cooler, um, getting the rest of the cob intake because I've got the intake pipe. I thought I might as well do it properly. I'm getting a um, new radiator. Mishimoto radiator, Mishimoto radiator hoses. Uh, what else? Yeah, it's been thinking the screamer pipe, but here in Australia they don't like that. But um, yeah. So hope you guys are following everything and being safe out there. We're in Australia at the moment. It's our Easter weekend. It's yeah, it's not fun being stuck inside, I just want to take this thing up the mountains and that's a quick overview of it but other than that hope you guys are staying safe look after yourselves, keep yourselves busy so you don't go crazy and start going murderous rampage being locked up constantly as I'm borderlining that I uh, hope to see you in the next videos like and subscribe, um, jmedia88 on Instagram, follow that and you'll get updates on that prior to new videos. So, yeah, hope you guys all have a safe and a great Easter and peace out guys.